Oh, you caught me in the middle of, of watch, reading my Sunday Monday. <laughs> I don't like cars. I don't actually care for cars. I'm, I've never been one to care for cars. Ten. That's one important thing about me, I guess. I, I've never been one for material things. Because growing up, I didn't have material things. I, I grew up poor. I guess that's another important thing about me. I grew up in poverty, very impoverished. And so now that I have money, or more money, I just save it as much as possible. I save it as much as possible, right? I try, at least. No third thing. No third thing about me that's cool. Important, I guess. Uh, my fears. I'm afraid of just dying. I'm afraid of just fading away into nothingness. Like the idea of like just not existing anymore is the scariest thing to me. So a ghost is one of my things that I'm just like, no, can't have that. Ghosts are my fears. Another thing about me, I guess, uh, I love the movie theaters. Growing up as a kid, um, whenever my dad would come over, because my dad and my mom split up a long time, um, he would always take it out to the movie theaters. I love the movie theaters. Man. Uh, that's, that's what I love doing. I love going to the movies. It's a good spot to just relax. And so for me, the movie theaters are always just been a great place to be. Uh, another thing, I guess. I don't know which number this is. I have to stop counting. I, we'll, we'll, we'll do the counting later. We'll put the we'll put the numbers up later. Yeah, well, we'll put a little counter on like the uh, one of the corners. We're bad at editing. That's one of the counters. Uh, we're bad at editing. We've never edited before for video. Well, I have. Well, you have. I have. That's yeah. that's a number. That's one. That's another one. Put the number right here. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another thing. I like. Hanging out with my friends. I love hanging out with my friends because it's just like it's the only thing I can really afford that's free. Hi, my Martin's class. That's that's a, that's one of my friends. One of my many, 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 many friends. Um, let's see. Another thing I like about myself. Like about myself? That's very egotistical. <laughs> uh, I. We'll make that another one. That's that's another one. I'm an egotist. 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 <laughs> I'm egotistical. I love myself. What did I say? Uh, growing up, I wasn't a uh, hundred percent. I wasn't the biggest fan of me. I hated myself. I hated the person I was. But then I learned to love myself. And now that I learned to love myself, I'm a narcissist. I've trained myself to be a narcissist because wow, I'm amazing. Well, technically have you, you are. Have you seen me? Technically, you aren't a narcissist because that would imply you have a personality disorder. Yeah. Well. But you get. You guys get the idea. You get the idea. I'm a. I'm great. I'm pretty great. Um, listen, okay. I try to keep myself literate. I try to read as much as possible because I feel language is like language is the only thing keeping us from being animals. It's the only thing keep, keeping like war from happening. Conversation. And so, the longer you can have a conversation, the better you're off for both sides. What do you like reading? What do I like reading? Uh, French literature. No. What? I've never read French literature before. Uh, that's a that's a nudge to get into the, like to get the teacher to. Like, Hi, man. No. Uh, British old uh, old British literature. Old. Uh, have you ever read uh, Dante's Inferno? Dante's Inferno is one of my favorite uh, stories of all time. I think. I think that's enough. I think. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk about why I like Dante's Inferno later. That's actually a big conversation piece. Okay. Part two of the three-part series. Uh, other things I like about myself or hate about myself? Just fun facts about me, I guess. They're not that fun. I love movies. I'm a huge movie fan. You know that. Uh, but my favorite movies are, and will always will be, Godzilla movies. <laughs> I think all Godzilla films and Godzilla in general just... I have pictures of Godzilla just show up everywhere. He's my favorite, like, existing piece of media out there. And that's not opinion, that's just fact. Fun fact. Uh, every morning I try to do a little walk. Martin, hold my skateboard. 
I don't know how to ride a skateboard or a bike or literally anything. I always blame it on the fact that my dad wasn't around, but it's really because I don't want to ride a bike or a motorcycle or a skateboard or anything. You never learn how to ride a bike. Welcome to the inner workings of Martin's mind. Here we're going to talk about 10 reasons why I like a certain animal and why if I could be a certain animal, I'd be that animal. Um, going on heart alone, I'd have to pick the monkey, the chimp, the ape. For one, it's one of my favorite animals of all time. As a, as a kid, every time I go to the zoo, it's the monkey exhibit I usually go to. For another thing, monkeys are basically just people. People just... I like being people. I like being a person. And the idea of being a monkey is not so removed from being a human being. Number three, I wouldn't have to I wouldn't have to listen to any laws because those are just concepts that I never have to listen to. I just have to listen to rules of nature. <laughs> uh there's another thing. Uh the idea of living without pants is is a noble it's a noble cause it's a noble belief <laughs> it's a noble belief and so the monkey truly better people uh i don't know which one this is let's go let's let's say this is five uh let's say this is four thank you monkeys are just <sighs> there's something about the concept of like a monkey learning how to like learn sign language which interests me because it's just like they're not too far off from what we are. Language is the only thing we have that really pushes us ahead of animals and ha them having this kind of ability to conversate gives them power too. And number five, <laughs> monkeys and like side at being sidekicks to old like movie superheroes as a kid like watching those old 80s movies with like side sidekick superhero like monkeys just really like wowed me because that's amazing it's so dumb and amazing and i love it uh let's talk about number six uh for one and for another thing it's basically just they're amazing creatures that really truly give me like hope that wow we we're, we went far as a species we went really far as a species we look at how different we are from them but l you can still kind of see like connections to them which is like whoa hey number seven they're proof that we can teach other animals to try to conversate to try to to educate other creatures we always humans always want to educate other people monkeys are just the next like kind of st step right it's the next logical step yeah we'll put planet we'll oh put no planet the apes poster right we'll, 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 we'll put eight put eight put eight that that's a that's another reason i like monkeys planet of the apes the the good planet of the apes movie is just so good it's so good oh wow uh not the not the new ones the old like the old movie the old, the, the old one oh, come on oh especially not that one okay number number 10 uh you may have heard of him his name is called grape ape all right the grape ape that's it that's all i have to say the grape ape all right just finished the homework